still working to learn the gunman's relationship to the Walmart, if there is one at all. So we'll be sure to bring you that as that develops throughout the day. We do have News 3 crews across the city of Chesapeake this morning working to get you updated information. They're checking in with police, with survivors and the families of the victims. We're going to start right now at 601 with News 3 reporter Anthony Sabella. Anthony, you have been live in that parking lot right outside the scene of that Walmart. Uh, describe what you're seeing now and how that's changed over the past several hours. Hey, good morning, Jessica and Blaine. Yeah, if you were watching several hours ago when the scene first started unfolding, you would have seen uh, countless police vehicles, countless emergency vehicles. Uh, now there are a lot less. The, the scene does seem to be paring down, at least for right now. We do see still a lot of police vehicles, only a few with their lights on, though, yet the entire parking lot remains taped off and we were told by the public information officer a few hours ago this is going to be a scene for at least the next five days there is a lot for them to unpack here a lot for investigators to go through to learn exactly what led up to this shooting and all of the circumstances surrounding this shooting that yes left six people shot and killed the shooter also dead this morning. Now, the, the big time we're looking at right now is 8 o'clock. That's when we're told the next press conference is set to happen. But unlike the previous couple that were here in the parking lot in front of the Walmart, it's going to be a couple of miles away from here at the Public Safety Operations Center that's over on Military Highway. And, and we're told the police chief will be among those who are set to be there, as well as others from the city of Chesapeake. So, so we're expecting, uh, hopefully, to get some more information, namely how many others were injured. You mentioned five that were taken to Centera Norfolk General. We're going to see if, if that is the only other on the only others that were that were injured in the shooting. If there are others that were hurt, maybe some more information about who the shooter might be. And, and yes, those circumstances surrounding the shooting. So all of that hoping to get confirmed. You know, a lot's going on on social media. People kind of weighing in on there. We want to get that information confirmed and correct before we put it out to you. But we're, of course, going to keep you updated here on air on News 3 this morning. We're going to stream that press conference live. We're also going to put any updates in the story at WTKR.com so you can get all of the information, all of the new information, all of the updates as they come in up to the second. We will have that for you. And of course, I'll check in a little bit later here on News 3 this morning as well. We're live here in Chesapeake. Anthony Sabella, News 3. Hey, Anthony, while we have you, uh, we know that this is uh, a difficult morning for law enforcement as they are working to unfold what happened here. What sense did you get perhaps from Officer Kaczynski? We know who has uh, been there for quite some time from the law enforcement who were there combing through uh, this massive Walmart trying to find any survivors. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, so many of them live here in the city of Chesapeake, right? Yeah, Leo Kaczynski, he is certainly uh, a friend to News 3. We, we, we see him at all kinds of scenes, you know, and, and he seemed to be his normal self this morning, but with certainly some added weight to him, right? Because, I mean, this is his community. And, uh, you know, to, to, to be investigating something like this, you know, it definitely takes a toll. I will say a few hours ago, I actually started my coverage over at the Chesapeake Conference Center, where I know you're going to get uh, some words from Margaret in, in just a little bit. Uh, but I did talk to the police officers there a few hours ago as well, you know, and, and, and they said that they really at this point were just trying to make sure that they were there for the families, there for the friends, the loved ones of those whose lives were taken last night, there for the families who are still trying to find out if the people they love most have made it through the night. So, yeah, certainly weighing on, on the police officers and all who are responding to what I'm sure is a terrible, devastating scene, uh, unlike this one that this city has seen, if, if not in the last several years, if ever. So, uh, yeah, certainly a very difficult night for all involved.